Hey guys, welcome. I'm so excited to be with you today. We're going to go over our cash to close program presented by you mortgage in partnership with home point. It's a great program. We're going to dive right in. So let's go over our agenda real quick. So what we're going to do in this webinar is we're going to go over the cash to close overview. We're going to go understanding the logistics of this. We're going to go with the accept.inc introduction, our 10 step process and the program requirements. So real quick, what is this program? So Really what this program is, is it's two steps. We have our cash closing and a mortgage refinance closing. So with the cash closing, Accept.Inc provides a cash loan to the borrower to fund their cash purchase. Accept.Inc will fund up to 95% of the purchase price with the remainder coming from the borrower's down payment. With Accept.Inc, the borrower can close as a cash buyer in as little as 10 days without financial or appraisal contingencies. That's step one. So step two of this, is a normal refinance, you know, closing. The borrower refinances a short-term short cash loan into a permanent mortgage. Um, home point refinance takes about 30 days of completion of this except I cash offer at closing. So it's a great program. Let's dive in and kind of go into the specifics so we can help each other uh, figure out how we can get this done to help our clients be able to win every single offer because we know cash is king. So we've got a quick, cool statistic here of why it matters. So obviously we see here, Cash offers account for 28% of home purchases in 2020 and 32% in 2021. And I bet you it's about around the same right now in 2022. So we all know that cash is king. Why? Because not only is there no contingencies, but you can close a lot quicker. So we saw here that seven times cash offers are, are going under contract, you know, seven times faster than finance borrowers. So very fast. And so what we're trying to do is we're going to bring both worlds to our clients to help them be able to buy a house with cash and then we'll close quickly on the financing side. So what we've done is we partnered with HomePoint, Accept.Inc, and we've been able to create this cash to close program for our clients to be able to purchase a home with cash so we can make cash offers. It's a great, great program. We're going to dive in and kind of show you a little bit here of, of how we do this at UMortgage to make it so smooth for our clients and how we've been able to negotiate with HomePoint and accept on it to give the best offer for our clients. So how it works. So we're going to dive in here step by step. Now you see on this uh, page right here, we see um, basically a, a different color coordinations. So everything that is in white is what HomePoint does. Everything in purple is what we do at you mortgage and everything in green is except dotting. So step one is we submit what's called a TBD app to HomePoint Financial. So we've done this a lot. We do TBD loans all the time. It's going to be the same thing, except there's going to be one step that's going to be a little bit different. We're going to make sure that we have a real qual, pre-qual decision made on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to CC our account executive. He's the best account executive in the world. And we're going to go over and CC Accept Inc. and also New Mortgage that we are submitting a TBD app requal prequal so that they can make a decision. HomePoint can make that decision for us as well. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have all docs. We want to make sure that we have everything available for this TBD. So when the financing part comes, we can just rock and roll. So we're going to want pay stubs. We're going to want W-2s. We're going to want tax returns for self-employed or if they have a Schedule E uh, rental income. We're going to want everything here packaged up really, really clean so that when we have this decision made, we're we're on par. So when this cash to close you know, program closes, this, it's going to close between seven, 10 days that once that closes, we're going to be able to start the refinance process. So TBD app is everything. So we submit that home point recall approval to accept.inc and then accept.inc checks the prequal and proof of issues uh, uh, funded, uh, basically the proof of funds issued to us to give us an update of everything goes. And then we are able to have our borrower shop for the property. So the borrower can shop, they can put in an offer. They put in an offer made via accept.inc and the offer made, it's accepted, and then they give a conditional approval issue. Now, basically they have prior docs and CTC uh, conditions that we have to uh, um, monitor and look at, but they're very different because it's just cash, right? It's not gonna be as, as you know, intricate as it would be if we're gonna do our refinance, but they do have their conditions to get their docs out. It's you know basically the same as a cash offer um, here. So they accept the cat off that cash offer. They fund everything's good to go. Client owns the house. And then what we do is step two is we submit that TV app back to home point. So home point will then convert that real qual app to a refinance 
the underwriter will, will, will basically get, so safety is very fine. We'll get the approval letter to us. We'll chip away conditions. We're gonna get the initial CD out upon uh, submission. We're gonna clear close, docs out and fund. Now you have to get this done in 30 days or less. You cannot extend this. They've made it very clear. It's gotta be 30 days or less. Good thing is that you mortgage, we're averaging CTC in two weeks. So this is gonna be easy for us. So we're gonna wanna make sure when we do that, submit that TV app at the very first step on step one, that in step two, everything's good to go. So the difference between step one and step two TBD app is you're basically just transferring that app, but uh, maybe, you know, pay stubs, maybe a new pay stub, maybe a new bank statement came out. We gotta make sure we have everything ready to go for that refinance. So Accept.Inc, let's go over a little bit about this company called Accept.Inc that we've made an exclusive offer with uh, us at HomePoint. So they're a FinTech mortgage company. They upgrade any and all uh, offers to an all cash bid. So that helps all our clients be able to put in a cash offer and it helps them win more deals. So home buyers can close cash, cash offers in as few as 10 business days without obviously the appraisal and financial contingency like we mentioned before. Once the cash purchase is complete, home buyers will work with us uh, to basically get a 30 day refinance done. So it helps purchase the loan into a, a permanent traditional mortgage. And uh, we're going to get that done within 30 days. So it, it, it takes the stress off of this is your home, you have your home. Now let's make sure that we can get the, the 30 year uh, financing uh, figured out. So, process. So, step one we submit real call requests to HomePoint and email TPO loan setup to HomePoint Financial place hpfc.com to notify the submission and be, make sure you also cc our ae as well um, he's amazing he'll make sure that we get this everything set up and if you have any questions he can help you out as well so you want to make sure we structure this uh, when you're submitting it especially in our branch going to go by your branch managers go by the, uh, the the account executive to make sure you have everything available for this tv submission so you submit that real call approval from home point and they have a portal for us that we're gonna be able to go into and we'll give you your logins, your credentials and everything. And uh, through this portal, you'll be able to, you know, upload all the things that they're requesting and you're, you're able to submit this real call approval. So step three is receive the pre-approval email from accept um, for your related buyer. Step four is submit the property and offer for approval to accept. Then the next step goes, checks the property value and credit highlights and then notify the approval status and conditions. Now what's really cool is accept has a lot of technology. They're a FinTech company, right? So the technology that they have is they're, I think they were telling me when we were talking, they're like 99.7, 99.8%. They have an evaluation on what the house will appraise for. So that'd be really cool to, to be able to put a cash offer in here and know that your home's going to appraise as well. So buyers will then go and make an offer. They'll go under contract. They upload all the prior to docs and request a CD on the, on the cash purchase. They get the CTC docs are out. They fund everything's requested by tile. And then the funds are wild tile cash purchase transaction. Please. So you own the house. Congratulations. You got done. You put in a great offer and then we originate. So that's basically uh, the, in, a, in a 10 step process. We did it with the chart. Now we have it here uh, just to reiterate, just so everyone kind of knows what's going on. Um, let's move on to the requirements here. So obviously it's conventional, conventional high balance uh, are the two uh, programs that accept this. So unfortunately not yet with FHA or VA, but uh, you can go broker non Dell. Um, this is a rate and term refinance. It's not a cash out. So it goes up to 95% LTV on uh, the primary uh, owner occupied transaction. Now they have mentioned that you can do second home and non-owner uh, non occupied, so investment properties, but you're gonna have to follow those guidelines um, as, uh, the same way as you, if you were to do this, you know, if you had the cash and you bought a house in cash, and then you're gonna do a refinance um, with the investment properties. But uh, this is mainly specifically, we're working a lot on first um, primary residence uh, homes. So, um, here they, they took, I mentioned the LTV and uh, the, the appraisal guidelines are the exact same if you were going to do any refinance, whether it be Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac on a rate term conventional. So credit score, obviously you got to run DU and LP afterwards, same thing. It, uh, once the cash is done, you want to make sure that uh, the rate term refinance is perfect and everything's good to go with the debt to income and the AUS and everything's improved. So um, their max is right now is one uh, property that accept audience for a finance property to be able to use this program. State eligibility right now. So right now they have California, Colorado, Minnesota, Oregon, and Washington. Now they are working on it. Specifically, my branch is in Utah, although I'm licensed in other states. But uh, it's going to be. I'll, I'll let you know as soon as possible when it comes to Utah because it's going to be a great value add for our realtor and our financial and, and uh, business partners. 
for our clients to be able to put in the best offers available. But right now, eMortgage, we are licensed in these states, so it's great for uh, my branch managers in these other states to be able to take advantage of, of this program. Um, it, it says here, uh, it looks like we don't have Texas written out right here, but it is in Texas as well. Um, but uh, we're going to be looking to go nationwide, but this is where the, uh, the, the first few states that we're going to be working on. And uh, I'll let you know as soon as possible when other states come and uh, you'll be able to originate loans and help people do the cash uh, to close training in that uh, environment. So um, we have some great resources for you guys that we've already made. So you can go out and uh, earn business, uh, get uh, your real estate partners involved to be able to tell them about this program. It's absolutely amazing for, for their buyers to be able to not worry about contingencies. They can go in and make a cash offer and then we can help them out on the refinance right after. And, uh, and uh, for real estate agents, it's pretty slick. I mean, it's, it's pretty awesome to be able to have uh, you know, three great partners here that are willing to help out your clients to be able to buy a house in cash. We're going to be doing a ton of these offers here moving forward just because we see the percentage of how many people love accepting cash offers. Cash is king. Um, and then questions. Uh, it looks like we have a lot of questions in here real quick. Let me pull this up so I can uh, see uh, kind of what we have on here. So um, first question I have here that I see is, uh, let's read this real quick. How much does it cost? Uh, the borrower to participate. So this varies, but for us, we've been able to have a really good uh, negotiation process with these uh, with these companies. So it's a 1% fee of the loan amount. So it's very cheap. Industry standards, I've seen double or triple of this. So we're going to be, uh, be able to be incredibly competitive on this, but it's 1% of the fee of the loan amount. Great question there. So next question we have is, does the borrower work directly with the Septon Inc. or through the loan originator? So the loan originator remains the point of contact for the borrower on both the cash purchase and the mortgage uh, closing. So you're gonna wanna be the face uh, for communication. So when it is in the cash offer, just you know, keep your, your, your game face on, you're gonna be helping and being client facing throughout the entire process. Is the borrower's mortgage with home point considered a cash out? No, this mortgage is considered a non-cash out refinance. It's a rate and term refinance. So that's great because you're not gonna take the hits that you would um, on, on the, uh, the cash out refinance, you're gonna get a better rate. So it's a great um, opportunity to be able to, you know, Keep the rates similar to what it would be if you were to do a purchase refi uh, purchase tra transaction instead of refinance, uh, but cash out. So, uh, next question we have is: Can the borrower move in immediately after the cash purchase? Absolutely, yes, they can. It's their home; they can move in immediately. So they can move in, and then the refinance happens throughout the process. That's what's so cool about this: is they don't have to wait thirty days. It's their home; they're in their house. So, uh, next question I have here that I see is. Who controls the negotiation? So it's the borrower's offer with accept audience cash. So just like a typical purchase, the borrower and their agent have control of the negotiations and due diligence, including inspections. So you got full control. It's, a, it's, it's great for the buyer. Um, is the buyer required to use HomePoint as a mortgage lender on this? Yes, absolutely. So Accept.Inc. has a wholesale partnership with HomePoint to provide that borrower with the cash offer program. So if the borrower chooses to use another mortgage lender, they may not they may be liable for additional costs and fees. And they'll also be ineligible for this Accept.Inc. money back guarantee if they do not use HomePoint. So there's a money back guarantee in this. HomePoint's making sure that you're completely covered and protected. So you're going to want to for sure use them after you get this house with the cash um, Accept.Inc. Um, oh, good question here. Uh, what happens if the borrower loses their job and can't qualify for a mortgage offer after the cash purchase? So uh, every cash offer is backed by the Accept.Inc. money back guarantee. So if the borrower loses their job and can't close on their mortgage, Accept.Inc. will buy the home from them at the exact same price it's bought for. That way the borrower receives a full down payment back. So, you know, it, it covers them, everything's good. So I hope that doesn't happen. Uh, very rarely does it ever happen, but uh, if that does, uh, we'll make sure that we can help you in the process of scrambling where, you know, if let's say you did lose your job and we needed the refinance process, you know, if it is a salary base, we can receive other offers. So if you go out, to, you know, get a new job real quick, I can accept a job offer for you uh, to be able to uh, qualify for this home. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, uh, what keeps Accept.Inc. from competing with HomePoint? So HomePoint is the wholesale lender of this product. Accept.Inc.'s retail platform is a separate entity uh, with no access to the HomePoint wholesale database. And they also have a great relationship here. So they're going to make sure that they're going to protect and they're going to respect this relationship uh, moving forward because HomePoint and our, you know, 
uh, eBoard is going to bring a lot of clients for accept.in through the door because cash is just a great offer for them. And it's a great situation for a lot of clients uh, to be able to take advantage of this great program. So next question I have here is, does the borrower have to bring money to closing and how much? So yes, uh, obviously they, they have to bring the agreed upon down payment and any other applicable closing costs. So, you know, there's going to be settlement fees, wire fees, reporting fees, uh, per the accept on a cash after agreement. Um, great question there. So, um, a lot of questions, a lot of questions here. So, how quickly can the cash offer loans ex close through accept.in? So, 10 days. So, that's from contract to funding. So, obviously, you can probably close a little sooner, but 10 days is going to be uh, the standard on these cash programs. Does the cash offer close in accept.in's name or the borrower's name? So, the cash offer program, this will close in the borrower's name with a first lien. Um, for accept.ing. So uh, just keep that in mind when you do close on that. Next question I have here is what happens if the appraised value comes back low during the refinance process? So accept.ing value get, will they'll guarantee they'll cover the gap in the property value and the accept.ing payoff will be reduced to offset that lower appraised value. So that's really cool um, that they're, they're offering that and they, they, uh, they will uh, fall through with that for you guys. So what is the time frame in accept.ing? Um, uh, can return their value check. So 24 hours or less. So they have quick turn times here. They're very fast to work with. Um, over the weekend, they will work on Saturdays. Um, but, uh, you know, a lot of times we got to be reasonable as far as if you're putting off at 7 o'clock. You got to make sure that, you know, the following Monday morning, they'll be available to, 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 to help you out on that. What type of home point loans are these? So again, these are, these are conventional only rate and term refinance. And they're only with convention. Um, Let's see what I have. Uh, someone said LTV requirements. So the maximum is 95% LTV. So just basically a 5% down, uh, do the equivalent of 5% down purchase, 5% down, you know, um, once you do the rates for refinance, it's basically 5% of your equity. So can the broker forward the lock with home point prior to the closing of the cash offer through accept on it? That's a great question. And yes, absolutely. The, the home point TV real call process applies to this. So you can lock and make sure you protect your lock and then you can uh, forward that lock once you start that, uh, that refinance. Um, where does the broker send the home point recall approval to apply for accept on his cash offer program? So on the accept wholesale platform, we'll send you a link that you'll be able to log into. That's where you're gonna be able to send the recall approval. So uh, they have a wholesale platform that's tied to your mortgage and also home point. Um, what will home point underwriter need for a real call approval? So income assets, assets document down payment, and any other additional assets that can be taken into consideration for the cash offer and your credit report. We're at your mortgage going to have absolutely everything just so when we're ready to refinance, everything's ready to go. We already have everything packaged so we can get this done. And our goal is going to be two weeks or less just to protect any other hiccup. We want to make sure that we're, we're protecting our clients on that. Um, so, you know, uh, how fast can refinance with HomePoint be completed? Well, you're using new mortgage, so we could definitely do it within 14 days, submission to fund. So we can do that very easily. Um, that's almost very similar to what our turn times are on all transactions right now in my branch. Um, does the bar have to use the same title company for the refinance as the cash offer? No, it's not really required, but it's highly recommended. I mean, these borrowers are title to shop, but we want to be able to accept this relationship that these guys are providing for us. If they're, if they're providing you a cash deal that you can put an offer and win that house, and that seller was not going to accept anything but cash, let's try to respect all the people that are in this transaction and support them. So I'm going to be using um, their accept audience title company just because I want to respect that relationship and I think it's a good thing for everyone to, to realize how cool of uh, value add these, these companies are bringing to, towards our clients. Um, will PIW be honored in the refinance? Yep, everything is underwritten to Fannie and Freddie guidelines. So it's going to be the exact same thing uh, as, is, as if someone, you know, purchased out the cash and they want to refinance and you get a PIW. How does the broker get paid on these transactions? So through the origination and funding of the refinance. So we get paid on the refinance transaction. Um, that's how we're going to get paid, um, just like any other refinance when, you know, the lender will pay you for you if you do the borrower paid, um, uh, the, the borrower pays you in that scenario. So does the SEPTA-Inc. require a title policy to close the purchase? Um, so SEPTA-Inc. does not require a lender's policy for the cash purchase. So only the lender's policy is required for that refinance, but the buyer and seller can get an owner's po policy conveying title, which is basically a copy that needs to be provided to SEPTA-Inc. Um, prior to CTC. So um, due to the duration of the cash uh, loan being so short, uh, we all, they also do require an escrow account to be set up for the cash purchase. There are settlement costs involved, same thing as if we were to, to do a purchase deal um, with the title um, uh, company. So uh, next question we have here is the accept on loan interest-free. 
No, the interest rate on the cash loan is the same as interest rate they qualify for a traditional mortgage. So reflected on the real qual approval. So it accrues over the first 30 days after the cash offer transaction is complete. The borrower is not closed within 30 days. Interest increased by 1%. That's why we're going to make sure we close for sure before 30 days. We'll protect you on that. Um, is there interest accrued on the loan from accept on for payoff? Yes, so there is. The interest rate is payable when accept on is paid off at the time of refinance. So no, there are no payments for the cash loan until the payoff. So they basically they're paid off in the refinance. What happens if the borrower goes out and buys a property that's ineligible collateral? Example, condo with litigation or property with health and safety issues or is midway through major remodel or total fix and flip or um, terrible qualify. So, Accept Audit does, ex, uh, does a property condition finance eligibility check when they run their value check process. So if they find the properties in poor condition or non warrantable um, example, they reject the offer on that basis. So in the cash offer program agreement, which is issued alongside the loan estimate as part of the borrower's disclosures, the buyer also agrees not to perform any upgrades or modifications to the property until they close on the mortgage with the lender. So they will do their evaluation to make sure that this property is good and everything is uh, in, in check. Um, got a few more questions here. If our rate and term refi results to collateral decline, does the set down guarantee still come into play and in buys on that? Yes. So if the cash purchase is funded and the property is ineligible, the risk is on accept on ink and the borrower money back guarantee is activated. So the money back guarantee is also acted for credit events, like we said, with the job loss too. So, you know, so it's a great guarantee there um, that, that uh, you'll get. Um, next question I have here is, I've heard from a realtor that accept on ink will not allow any concessions for sellers. Is this true? This is actually false. So a buyer and seller under their respective agents can negotiate concessions as they see fit in this transaction. How long does it take to get the recorded docs once the purchase closes? And how do we avoid a lien being placed on title if there's no title insurance on the cash purchase? So in Colorado, they say Colorado title typically takes seven to 10 days. Um, they're a national title company used for other states. Um, they do in, in the mortgage industry is average seven to 10 days. So that's your answer. That's about seven, 10 days here. So how does accept on ink know whether there are accepting liens on title or not? So, uh, you know, answer here is a broker is to provide the title commitment. This is a PTD paradox condition listed on the accept conditional approval. So they'll be able to find that out. Um, next question here is what is looked at during the value check to ensure the home can be lended on. So accept on ink's offer approval team reviews the property to determine whether it's eligible for traditional financing. So, they look for things like a condo affordability, HOAs, solar leases, et cetera, that can negatively impact the buyer. So for example, condos have higher rates than single families, HOAs increase by a monthly payment or DTI, where the property's, eligi the property's eligibility for financing. So they do look at all these um, to make sure that uh, once it does come in the lending process, client will be okay. So uh, that's uh, all the questions I have here. Thank you guys so much, uh, super excited. Um, to be able to offer this to clients nationwide. Right now, we only have, uh, again, the five or six states that are working on it. But once it comes to the, the specifically my branch as well here in Utah, I'll let you all know. But uh, we, uh, my branch also works in other states. So we're really excited to be able to offer this to you guys. It's going to be a great tool for you to grow your business. Uh, it's going to be a great tool to, to be able to provide value to your real estate partners and to, to other business partners that send you business and also for them as well to be able to provide value for their clients. So we're super excited to be able to roll this out. Um, if there's any other questions, feel, feel free to comment or email and reach out. You can reach out to me specifically as well. My email is kcohler at emorge.com. I'm more than happy to, to answer any questions you may have on this. But uh, thanks, guys. You guys have a great day.